Season 6, episode 291. I'm your host, Dana, and in this podcast, I read a full chapter of the Bible in a way designed to help you fall asleep in heavenly peace. In this sixth season, we are reading through the sixth book, the Old and New Testaments. We are right now reading through Joshua and when we are finished with that we'll read through Romans after that chapter I will read a selection from the book of Psalms we finish each episode the Lord's Prayer and then I close with my own prayer dedication from Psalm 2014 Now, when I started reading the chapter from Joshua tonight, I realized it was a very short chapter, so I decided to read more of Psalms than I usually do. And lo and behold, the episode is probably going to run a little longer than usual. So you may fall asleep by the end of it. But if you don't, that's okay. Sometimes it takes longer to fall asleep than other times. You may want to listen to it again, listen to another episode, just reflect on any passages that had special meaning to you, and listen to your Creator speak to you in that moment. If you still struggle to fall asleep, you may want to get up and do something else for a few minutes. Anytime you feel frustrated by not being able to fall asleep, I've learned that that's usually a sign that I just need a few minutes to do something else and then try again. And it'll be all right. Now, things you can do to help you fall asleep are habits. Following these habits help trigger your mind and your body to know that it is time for bed. So adjust your room lights and your room temperature to whatever is going to bring you the most peace. Put away any distractions and crawl into your snuggly bed and get into your favorite sleeping position. Feel the bed underneath you and the covers on top of you. Nestle your head in your pillow and feel the muscles in your neck, your face and your shoulders all the way down your body relaxing as you feel the perfect temperature of your body and then join me in taking three deep breaths here we go one two for Joseph began at the Jordan of Jericho, east of the waters of Jericho, and went up from there through the desert into the hill country of Bethel. It went on from Bethel, that is Luz, crossed over 
to the territory of the Archites and Adaroth, descended westward to the territory of the Japlotites, as far as the region of Lower Beth Horon, and on to Gezer, ending at the sea. So Manasseh and Ephraim, the descendants of Joseph, received their inheritance. This was the territory of Ephraim, clan by clan, the boundary of their inheritance, and from Adaroth Dar in the east to Upper Betharon and continued to the sea. From Mithmathath on the north, curved eastward to Teanath Shiloh, passing by it to Genoa on the east. Then it went down from Genoa to Adara. And Naira touched Jericho and came out at the Jordan. From Tapua, the border went west to the Kana Ravine and ended at the sea. This was the inheritance of the tribe of the Ephraimites, clan by clan. It also included all the towns and their villages that were set aside for the Ephraimites within the inheritance of the Manassites. They did not dislodge the Canaanites living in Gezer. To this day, the Canaanites live among the people of Ephraim, but are required to do forced labor. Psalm 87 of the sons of Korah, a song, a song. He has set his foundation on the holy mountain. The Lord loves the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God, Selah. I will record Rahab and Babylon among those who acknowledge me. Philistia too and Tyre along with Cush, and will say, this one was born in Zion. Indeed, of Zion it will be said, this one and that one were born in her, and the Most High himself will establish her. The Lord will write in the register of all the peoples, this one was born in Zion. Selah. As they make music, they will sing. All my fountains are in you. Psalm 88. A song. The psalm of the sons of Korah. For the director of music, recording to Mahala. Maskil, a human of Ezraite. O Lord, the God who saves me, day and night I cry out before you. May my prayer come before you. Turn your ear to my cry. For my soul is full of trouble, and my life draws near the grave. 
I am counted among those who go down to the pit. I am like a man without strength. I am set apart with the dead, like the slain who lie in the grave, whom you remember no more. You are cut off from your care. You have put me in the lowest pit, in the darkest depths. Your wrath lies heavily upon me. You have overwhelmed me with all your waves, Selah. You have taken from me my closest friends and have made me repulsive to them. I am confined and cannot escape. My eyes are dim with grief. I call to you, O Lord, every day. I spread out my hands to you. Do you show your wonders to the dead? Do those who are dead rise up and praise you? Selah. Is your love declared in the grave? Your faithfulness and destruction? Are your wonders known in the place of darkness? Or your righteous deeds in the land of the living? I cry to you for help, O oh Lord. In the morning, my prayer comes before you. Why, O oh Lord, do you reject me and hide your face from me? From my youth, I have been afflicted and close to death. I have suffered your terrors and am in despair. Your wrath has swept over me. Your terrors have destroyed me. All day long they surround me like a flood. They have completely engulfed me. You have taken my companions and loved ones from me. The darkness is my closest friend. Psalm 89 the Maskeel of Ethan the Ezraite. I will sing of the Lord's great love forever. With my mouth I will make your faithfulness known through all generations. I will declare that your love stands firm forever that you established your faithfulness in heaven itself. You said, I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David, my servant, I will establish your line forever and make your throne firm through all generations. Selah. Heavens, praise your wonders, O Lord, your faithfulness to you in the assembly of the holy ones. For who in the skies above can compare with the Lord? Who is like the Lord among the heavenly beings in the council of the holy ones? God is greatly feared. He is more awesome than all who surround him. O oh Lord, God Almighty, who is like you, 
You are mighty, O oh Lord, and your faithfulness surrounds you. You rule over the surging sea. When its waves mount up, you still them. You crush Rahab like one of the slain. With your strong arm, you scattered your enemies. The heavens are yours, and yours also the earth. You founded the world and all that is in it. You created the north and the south. Tabor and Hermon sing for joy at your name. Your arm is endued with power. Your hand is strong. Your right hand exalted. Righteousness. Justice were the foundation of your throne. Love and faithfulness go before you. Blessed are those who have learned to acclaim you, who walk in the light of your presence, O Lord. They rejoice in your name all day long. They exult in your righteousness. For you are their glory and strength. And by your favor you exalt our horn. Indeed, our shield belongs to the Lord, our King, to the Holy One of Israel. Once you spoke in a vision to your faithful people, you said, I have bestowed strength on a warrior. I have exalted a young man from among the people. I have found David, my servant. With my sacred oil, I have anointed him. My hand will sustain him. Surely my arm will strengthen him. No enemy will subject him to tribute. No wicked man will oppress him. I will crush his foes before him and strike down his adversaries. My faithful love will be with him and through my name his horn will be exalted. I will set his hand over the sea, his right hand over the rivers. He will call out to me, you are my father, my God, the rock, my savior. I will also appoint him my firstborn most exalted of the kings of the earth. I will maintain my love to him forever, and my covenant with him will never fail. I will establish his line forever, his throne as long as the heavens endure. If his sons forsake my law, and do not follow my statutes, if they violate my decrees and fail to keep my commands, I will punish their sin with the rod, their iniquity with flogging. But I will not take my love from him, nor will I ever betray my faithfulness. I will not violate my covenant or alter what my lips have uttered. Once for all, I have sworn by my holiness 
and I will not lie to David that his line will continue forever and his throne will endure before me like the sun. It will be established forever like the moon, the faithful witness in the sky. Sarah. But you have rejected, you have spurned, you have been very angry with your anointed one. You have renounced the covenant with your servant and defiled his crown in the dust. You have broken through all his walls and reduced his strongholds to ruins. All who pass by have plundered him. He has become the scorn of his neighbors. You have exalted the right hand of his foes. You have made all his enemies rejoice. You have turned back the edge of his sword and have not supported him in battle. You have put an end to his splendor and cast its throne to the ground. You have cut short the days of his youth. You have covered him with the mantle of shame. Selah. How long, O oh Lord, will you hide yourself forever? How long will your wrath burn like fire? Remember how fleeting is my life. For what futility you have created, all oh men. What man can live and not see death or save himself from the power of the grave? Selah. O oh Lord, where is your former great love, which in your faithfulness you swore to David. Remember, Lord, how your servant has been mocked, how I bear in my heart the taunts of all the nations, the taunts with which your enemies have mocked, O oh Lord, with which they have mocked every step of your anointed one. Praise be to the Lord forever. Amen and amen. And in closing, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. And my prayer from Psalm 2014, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight. Oh Lord, my rock and my redeemer.